Excellencies, distinguished delegates, dear colleagues. Hello from New York. I'm sorry that my schedule did not allow me to be with you in person, but I'm very glad to be able to participate from afar. You are all gathered in Seoul today because you believe that more must be done to prevent conflicts and sustain peace. And you believe that this cannot happen without multilateralism. This conference is therefore a testament to a new approach to peace, an approach which promotes conflict prevention of a conflict response, and an approach which has been endorsed by a wide range of actors, including all United Nations member states. As we move towards turning this approach into our everyday reality, I want to make two brief points. First, I want to stress that we already have all the tools we need. They can be found throughout the United Nations work, not only in relation to its mediation and diplomatic functions, but also through its efforts in the areas of peacekeeping, human rights and sustainable development. What we need to do, however, is change how we use these tools. We need to use them to strengthen the United Nations capacity for sustaining peace. My second point is that we are moving in the right direction. Since the landmark resolutions on sustaining peace were adopted in 2016, we have already recommissioned some of our tools to support sustaining peace. And this has been evident in the work of the United Nations Peacebuilding Commission, which has employed new and innovative working methods. The Republic of Korea, as chair of the PBC, has played a le leading role in this process. We have also seen efforts to foster partnerships within the system of the United Nations and between the United Nations and other key actors for peace. We will take another big step in the right direction this coming April, when I will convene a high-level meeting of the General Assembly on peace building and sustaining peace. This event will shine the international spotlight on sustaining peace. It will take stock of what we have done in the areas of peace building and conflict prevention. Importantly, it will highlight what we need to do differently. We have already begun to lay the groundwork for this event. As part of my roadmap for sustaining peace, I have planned a series of activities. This will include field missions, workshops and out outreach to member states, UN officials, regional actors, civil society and businesses. This conference is an important part of that roadmap. We need to ensure that your ideas and suggestions are captured. And we need to ensure that best practices related to sustaining peace, which we have seen in Asia, are highlighted at the high-level event in April. Before I conclude, I want to thank the organizers of this important conference. I also want to acknowledge the participation of Minister Kyung Hua, Assistant Secretary General Taranko, and Mr. Hamargren. I'm confident that you will all benefit from their expertise and experience on sustaining peace. Thank you, and I look forward to welcoming many of you to New York in April.